better. Hi again. She said she wanted to express herself, so... Guardian, operations on Titan are in full swing. Drifter believes he can further improve his modified bank to work at greater depths. He will require more salvage from the sunken arcology. Acquire it for him so we can continue enhancing Sloane's link with Asva. This mission... Sloane's been through enough as it is. I informed her of everything that transpired while she was MIA. Guardians using the darkness... Savathun's deception, the witness attacking the Traveler. And Amanda. The two of them were close. Word of Amanda's death hit Sloane hard. I saw it in her eyes. The moment when the news landed. And the moment she buried it. I don't like putting this mission on Sloane. But I recognize her need for it. Her need for an objective. And a commander to assign it. What I need is for you to stand beside her in the trenches. Show her that she doesn't have to fight this battle alone. We'll all see this through together.
Sensors are indicating enemy contact on the rig. Engage and eliminate. Gonna need you to roll up your sleeves and get in there.
take our stuff. Nations. Anyway, transmat firing. down here. Go give him a tap on the backside for old Drifter.
himself. <laughs> yeah. He mentioned this at dinner. He says Kaido reminds him of himself, which is one of Osiris's favorite compliments. I'll bet it is. Kaido took a long while to warm up, given the past. But I think she was able to see beyond her suspicions to the man himself. Did you know she asked Osiris to begin teaching the Cabal forces about the darkness? She wants to understand Strand and Stasis. He neglected to mention that. It is oddly humble of him not to brag. It is good to see everyone is growing.
Fire team, prep your dive loadouts. We've received a mayday call from an off-site coral extraction team. Shokan, add their search and rescue IDs to our objectives. You're first on site. Find our missing guardians. Get their sights back online and break down any resistance. Saint 14 will provide tactical oversight. Let's bring our missing crew home. Do we have the missing fire team's last known? Yeah, now so do you. You will find them. I know it. I'm just hoping they got turned around. It can be disorienting down there. Help them find the surface, and things make sense again. Like having sea legs, and then on land. It takes time, yes? I'm not sure what you mean. How are you feeling, friend? Oh, where? Talking about me now. Can we stow this until I'm back? I mean to say, I understand becoming lost. <sighs> Big guy, I know you want to help, but I'm about to be shot at here. Wait, a fight? Very good. What can I do? Start marking targets! I'll knock them down! I've got bodies on the approach to Delta site. It's our missing team. Oh, damn it. The gear's offline. We need to get these running.
Machines on lock. Now secure the area. I sow the death you sow. Your needle is a brutal abyss of violence. Oh. All right. Keep it together. So, I just realized that my headset has been muted this entire time. Yeah, I've been streaming for 40 minutes and talking about my life and doing stuff and this and that. Apparently I've been muted the whole time and nobody heard shit, it's just been silence. <laughs> I guess something hit my headset because it's a button that like clicks in and clicks out whenever it was on my stand. And it I never noticed that it showed that I was muted on my screen or anything. Oh boy. I was even making jokes about the whole Subnautica thing and... Nope. You missed it all. <laughs> I've just been talking to myself like a maniac with nobody to listen to me because it's been muted. <laughs> no! Ellie talking to chat. Wee! Uh, nope, let's not do that again. Wasn't this the fight that I died at like 30 times the last time I did this stream? <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Bonk. Yeah, it's just going on about like my stuff that I want to do impulsively and this, that, and the other. Ugh. That was a lot of talking I just did for no reason. <laughs> it's a little depressing. Oh, that's not gonna hit. Damn it. Did I just waste my super? I think I did. And that's gonna be a boring ass 40 minutes. It's just me playing the game. Oh well. Nothing I can do about it now. All I can do is just chat for the rest of the stream. Unless I accidentally muted myself again, which would be awful. <laughs> Man, this guy does not want to die. 
No, I, I, I was just making a joke. When I was going on this weird little rant how today I had this impulsive drive to suddenly want to look up what it would take to work at a different at different video game companies. So I can kind of like start pre-planning where I'd want my work direction to go to to help possibly benefit me into eventually working for a game company. I don't know. Just a weird drive that I suddenly had. I was like, okay, you know, I have to be at my work for another six and a half years minimum just to get my pension. You know, I could use that time to go back to school, change my position to something that might benefit me at a job at working at a video game company, but I don't know. It was just one of those random ADHD daydreams that I have. Sometimes I get really bored at work and I just start dreaming about what changes I could make in my life and then suddenly I don't want to work. Suddenly I want to start working on these changes that I have no way of making. Oh shit, I can't respawn if I die. Sorry. Oh! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! I forgot that I'm in a non-respawn zone. I don't know. There's just ideas that aren't there. Like the one that I was talking about is like, you know, well what if I learn that I like working in like HR? Well we have an HR department and we have a uh, teaching on HR at my work so like maybe during the six and a half years I could focus my job on being HR related. So that way if I look into different companies, they have an HR posting, and then I could be like, look, I love video games, I've done HR for X amount of years, I've got a degree in it, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. You know. I don't know. It's just, I get randomly impulsive on wanting to change my life for the better, and I... I don't stay on it very long, but I enjoy I enjoy the feeling it makes me. It makes me feel motivated occasionally when I do that. Woo. What does that mean? What does that mean if flame takes hold? What? Can I do something with this? No? Is it just because I killed them? But it's kind of like a false sense of motivation, is, is, what, is what's happening. Is because I don't, sometimes I just get unmotivated at work that suddenly I become inspired to do these other grand things in my life to distract myself from the fact that I just don't feel like working. And then I become obsessed with it for just a little bit of my life. I was making the joke before you came my stream that, watch, give me a week. My, by this time next week when I'm doing my Tuesday Destiny stream, I'm gonna be like, Nah, I'm already bored of that. I've moved on to something else. <laughs> That's just how I am. I don't know. My brain's weird. I don't get it. I still think inevitably I need to go get therapy to help kind of sort out what I want to do with life and deal with some old baggage and stuff like that. Hello? Did you not try and kill me? Ah, oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck, 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 fuck! I do not want to be your friends right now! You guys are hurting me! Ow! I don't know, it would be cool though. Like, I wouldn't go into, like, video game design or something. I would want to do... I don't know what I'd want to do, that's the thing. And I... I... Like, I feel like just looking at what jobs they offer would kind of help me kind of realize what I could do and be like, wait, that's something that's, you know, obtainable for someone like me with these skill sets and blah 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 blah. Like, I was, I'm pretty decent friends with one of our Nintendo reps. She's super awesome, back from when I was still working at GameStop. And her job was to go from store to store, not just GameStop, but like Walmart, Target's. And she would set up planograms and train the staff on Nintendo related stuff. And I always kind of thought that was a cool job, even though I'm like not super good about people. Like, I get freaked out by people a lot of times. Um, 
I like the sound of her job because one thing I like doing at GameStop is I love setting up our planograms. You know, every Sunday we had a regular Sunday reset, but then, you know, once a month, sometimes bi-weekly, we would have these like massive resets on our stores of like the different marketing and merchandising we have to do. Our bachelor's in was in, um, it was a bachelor in business, but I specialized in marketing, marketing and management, which I thoroughly enjoyed the marketing aspect of it. I thought that was a lot of fun. And I'm going to fucking die right before I beat this level. Oh god. Oh fuck, there's more of you guys there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, do not fall down the hole. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Sorry. I can't respawn here, and if I die, I lose this entire fight's progress. And I'd rather not, especially not with him so close to being dead. Um, but anyways, you know, so that stuff was fun, and I could see myself doing her- the only downside is you have to travel like a really large distance, so I would be driving for half of my day, which I'm terrified of driving. So. <laughs> That job wouldn't go too, too well. But the marketing and merchandising part would be fun. You know? Another one that I have toyed with the idea in, but I've had to go to school for and get experience in, is uh, data analysis. You know, market trends, things like that. Like, that's something that would be fun for me because it's about numbers. And I love working with numbers. Originally, my bachelor was supposed to be in uh, mathematics. But they wanted me to learn programming, and I can't program to save my life. I never finished that degree, but I've been looking at where I could go to finish that degree at other schools that don't require um, programming. And I'm just kind of random, ram, 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 rambling right now. <laughs> I used to know every fire team that passed through Titan's Rig. These guardians, I don't recognize them. You have spent a great deal of time pushing forward. Stop! You will come to know again. Then you will find others to push with you. Like now. You don't have an off switch, do you, Saint? Nope. That would be bad design. <laughs> I need to go see Asa. Send me their names. They will be in your debriefing. Thanks, Tactical. Slow now. Why'd you call him Tactical? I'll do some lore crap that I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm sure this is just my newest uh, ADHD thing that I'm dealing with where I just suddenly... I, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I get really weird and suddenly obsessed about some new thing that I want to try to do in my life. And the 9 times out of 10, I don't even follow through with it. But I get like super hyper fixated on it for a while. A new sword. Ooh, you're beautiful. I like the way that looks. So what happens with these taken devices if I try to dye them? They do change color. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I like that. But how are you compared to the sword that I have? Ooh. The guard resistance up and your guard endurance drops. Your impact drops by one point, though. You know what? I'll keep you. I think you look really cool. I should probably deal with my rocket launchers too. They're both awful, but one of you has higher stats than the other. You. So many things to unlock. Oh, you die, but you can go too long in the midnight. That song pops in my head randomly. What did I do? Is it this one? Yes. Ooh, that's done too. Nice. Alright, so. Still have to increase my season rank. Season challenges. I still got to work on the exotic weapons. Oh, this is only four rank ups. Why did I think it was so much higher than that? I'm going to get hit rank seven in no time. If I play, that is. I have to make sure I'm playing 
the game, which I've been severely slacking on. I will say, I have picked up my pace a little. I played last week and I played this week. I just, as I was saying when I was muted earlier, is Zelda has taken up so much of my time. And all I want to do is play Zelda. But I won't be playing tonight, because when I get off of here, I have to start keying down. Hi, Papa. Alright, what's the conversation here? Wondering what the creature has to share, Gaudi? I'm eager myself. Or anxious. Separation can be difficult to discern. Why do you look short? Oh. Command, guard. Were you waiting here for me? Just considering the pieces on the board, Saint. You worry for the deputy commander. She is strong. And her friend is very large. They will be okay. Sloan will do what's necessary. But after that. Things are less. You know Saint's voice? When I was trapped in the infinite forest, before Osiris broke time to reunite us. Or Zavala. There were many days I felt lost. <laughs> but I am here, and you are all with me again. That you are. A hero of the city. Then and now. A hero, yes. You're talking about the robot or the blue guy? My memory differs from what the story said. There's only so much I can do behind a desk. Weighing costs and outcomes. Oh, uh, Lance Frederick. Someone else never sits right with me. The guy who passed away like a month ago. I'd rather the clarity of the battlefield. That's how you say his name. I always say his name wrong. The burden of yeah. good But trusting those we send is what makes us strong. You were vanguard commander once. What made you step down? Because I am not as strong as you. You carry the command for the same reason the Guardian and I stand in the trenches. To set the example. To be the hope. When the time comes, you will see it too, huh? I know you will. Hey, do not smack me, you little shit. What was that for? <laughs> Into the trenches then, Guardian. Yours on Titan. And mine in the tower. I look forward to your report. Thought my cat just walked up to me and smacked me in the leg for no fucking reason. <laughs> I'm still very suspicious of all of this. Especially because I'm still convinced she's actually Zebo at Roth in disguise, but you know. That's just my guess. Neomuna. Alright, don't say anything. Bye. Also, can I look at you more, you giant fish thing? You're fucking terrifying. 
Also, do you have bits of Taken on you as well? Yeah, like a little electric ball thing back there. Like a giant ass fish. Oof, creepy. And Rook. Oops, going too far. Should probably pay attention to the icons, Angelie. Tells you where to go. It's hard to make sense of Asa's thoughts, but they are coming into focus, taken interference be damned. Hearing those sounds puts me right back in the thick of it. Staying on the move, gun in hand, Zebu Arath's voice in my head. Escape and evade. No matter how bad things got, that routine kept me going. And Asa kept me safe. She shored up my resolve. Helped me find food. Watched over me when I caught a few hours of shut-eye. Now she's doing everything she can to tell us what she knows. We're both on a new mission. Unfortunately, Drifter needs to tinker with his machine before we bank... My guilty conscience? <laughs> He's doing well. A long time. He actually got to enjoy two days off in a row these last two days. And he's working today. It's the first I've seen him really relax in a while. It's staying still that gets to me. <sighs> My heavy appendage. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with the weekly missions. Well, usually he doesn't get to enjoy days off. You know, usually it's he's always getting called and dealing with that, dealing with this, you know. So this was the first time that he had a day off that he actually got to kind of enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Your impact and range sucks for your stability, handling, reload speed, rounds per minute, magazine are way bigger. Kind of tempted to keep this one. All well, the damage isn't as good. Ah, fuck it. Where is my auto rifle? There it is. Matt and I was a nice girlfriend. I didn't ask him to do a million chores either, like I usually do. <laughs> I only asked him to do one, and that was a sweep or clean the back porch. That was it. Oh my god, there's so many things to mark off. Oh boy. Mark a scene. Mark a scene. Mark a scene. Oh, I've got a crucible thing to pick up still. Oh my god, why do I have so much? Okay, so we're done with that one. I should probably work on my crucible stuff. I'm a hoarder? How? I got a new move. White whale. Oh, interesting. I have a lot of those set. What do you mean there's so much stuff? I don't control that. It's all from the game. It just keeps giving me more shit to deal with. So, I'm going to go grab some Crucible Bounties, and I'm going to go work on Mayhem, so that way I don't miss it this week, because again, another thing that got missed out on when I was muted was I went to go do last week's Crucible stuff yesterday, because they're reset usually on Tuesday, and it was already reset, so I missed last week's Crucible Challenge, so I have to wait for it to cycle back in. 
and laugh. Ooh, I wonder. Is the Iron Banner Rift this time? No. Damn it. It's uh, capturing zones. Cause that's what I missed. Is I missed the, rip, the week of the Rift. So I have to hope that they'll cycle it back through before the season's over. Or else I just missed that one completely. Very mean too. I had all intention on playing it on the previous week. Which I played it yesterday, which is before the weekly reset, and it was like, nah, we're going to reset some of the stuff early. So, they like gave me a big old middle finger and told me to go fuck myself, basically. <laughs> Ash, did I just hear you yell, by the way? I'm busy talking to the, like, void, but you know. Wee! Hey, it's dancing. Can I join? Oh, oh. Aha. Look, I'm dancing. With a random stranger. And some other random stranger is going to join us. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's not even playing. He's, like, on his menu or something like that. And he's going to come back and have two random strangers dancing with him. <laughs> He's random to me. <laughs> I don't even know what this dance is, though. Watch on his back. He's got, like, blades sticking out of his back or something. Kind of cool. I can definitely fix this. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. Bye! <laughs> Alright, what kind of bounties you got for me, Shax? Because we're going to do Mayhem, so Super is going to be easy. Feet upon it with Arc damage from any source. Really don't want to do Arc. Oof, a Streak. Mayhem to Feet upon with Grenades. Okay. I can do three bounties today with him at least. Let me equip the challenge. Oh, I'm going to have to do 25 kills. With Super abilities. Fuck. Alright, that might take a minute then. But I can at least get started today. Mayhem is fun. Mayhem's awesome because all of your abilities and super recharges at like a really fast rate. So you're just constantly like shooting out your supers and stuff and so is everyone else. And it's just, there's a reason it's called Mayhem. It's really crazy and fast paced, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. I think it's probably one of my favorite game modes and I hate that it's one that gets, that's in the cycle. I wish it was one that was always there. Because the one that's always there is Control, which is basically... Um, zone capture or whatever, or fuck, it's not capture the flag, it's I'm trying to think of the other term for it. Um, basically, you have three points and you're trying to stay like having at least two or, or three points if you can, and then each point you control that's how many points you earn for each kill you do. So, like, if we're controlling two points and I kill a guy, our team gets two points for every kill. So, I forget. I forget what it's called in other PvP games, but they call it Control in this one. I guess the Capture the Flag doesn't sound right. Hmm. Who knows? I'm also very forgetful. Maybe it's domination I'm thinking of. I'm trying to think of what the term is in like Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty in so fucking long. I think the last one I played was either Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4. I don't remember. I used to play Call of Duty a lot. Back in the good old days. I don't know. It's not as fun without friends, though. I think what made it fun is when I would play with people. I know, like, back when I was working at GameStop, it would be me, Harry, and, like, at least three of our co-workers, we would play online together. Sometimes my boss would bring her son, who, even though he was young, he was actually pretty good at the game, so we would be a team of six for six. Oh, it was fun, though. I miss it. You know, growing up, it was always me and my brother. We would play together on Call of Duty, but... 
By myself, it's not that fun. And I have destiny now. Ooh. Oh, no, I've been here before. That's just a weird angle. Oh, I like that guy's mask. It's pretty cool. A little throne looking. Like a, a Sabbath and Stern world looking. I have to give them props for their cost or for the outfit at the end of the match. Also, I wish they would do something about their load timer. Maybe it's my internet, but God, is it slow even on the PS5. You 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 didn't. Didn't. I like this one. You should be throwing grenades as I say this. <laughs> I love uh shacks. <laughs> You never throw enough grenades! You should be throwing more grenades! <laughs> well, there's the Shriek one done. And... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, at least I killed him with my super. Um, something like that, kind of. He was actually my boss. Um, and I had the total fucking hots for him, and I hit on him probably more than I should have. And he was like, nah, I don't want to mix work and relationships. So I moved on, dated a jerk for like a year, and then finally Harry was like, oh, by the way, I'm like madly in love with you. I was like, alright. <laughs> so we ended up together, and here we are six and a half years later. That's the short and sweet version. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. We always give him shit, because if we ever get into like one of those things where it's like, I love you more, competitions or whatever, I always tell him I fell in love first, and then I always win. Because I did. But I always fall easily anyway, that's just how I've always been. I don't know why I'd like that. Five minutes remaining. Shut the enemy down. Damn. Do you see what I mean about mayhem, though? If you're- I don't know if you're actually watching or if you're just listening. Um, it's just absolute madness because you can constantly use, like, your supers and abilities because it recharges so fast compared to a normal match. I absolutely love it. I think it's so much fun to play mayhem. Damn. It's almost like your gun is worthless in this one. Unless you have a rocket launcher like that guy. <laughs> Damn. I'm doing awful, but that's fine. I don't know, Mayhem I have a hard time getting upset with because it's just such a blast to do. Oh, they froze me. I punched that guy, but I don't think I killed him. <laughs> I don't think I killed him. <laughs> oh well. Oh, bitch. Nope, you're dead. And so am I. Did I at least kill that guy? Okay, good, I did. Oh, killed another guy. Why is my mom texting me? Oh, 
check her message in a little bit. Ooh, boy, I just got launched in the air. No idea where I'm going. I'm just trying my best. Nice. Cool. That was a fun match. Ooh, Sonic and Grim. Who is that best dressed guy? Oh. Come on, show me the test theme. I wanted to give it to this guy. I like this outfit. I already know to give them based off their rank and how well they did. Oh, I got third. Not bad. I thought I was doing way worse than that. I killed 17 guys! Okay. And I got you best dressed. Everybody likes my outfit. It makes me happy. Oh, mom wants to talk to me about quitting her job. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'll deal with that when I'm not streaming. Hey, didn't I finish the commendation one? No. Why did I say something about commendations? That was weird. Anyways, I got two. Bounty son. And Mayhem, defeat group opponent with grenades. Did I not get any grenade kills? Weird. I really thought I would've. And I've gotten only 8 out of 25 super kills. Hmm. That'll be interesting to see where this mission goes. I know if I rank up to, that's going to help some for uh, this thing. Yeah, because it's already one of four of this one. I should get rank seven very fucking easily. The only one that's going to be hard is the centrifuge one, which honestly, all I have to do is go grab that out of my uh, storage, go run to a planet, and just start shooting fuckers. <laughs> like, that's all i got to do with that one. You know, it's funny, Joel, you say that I had to, like, kidnap and lock my basement, take a hint. That's kind of how it felt. <laughs> I wonder if they introduced any new Crucible maps. These are monkey feet. Ooh, I like that one, too. Uh... This person? What's their name? Currente? I don't know how to say their name. But I like their mask, or their whole outfit. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's hot when girls kidnap, but weird when guys do it. Is that what I'm reading? <laughs> An awesome nerd struck first. <laughs> uh, sounds a little sexist. <laughs> it's only a kink if both parties involved like it. It's a crime if one of the parties involved doesn't like it. I'm dead. What if it's my kink not to like it? Then I don't know. I'm sure you'll find somebody who'll help you through that 
lifestyle. <laughs> I wish you luck on your endeavors. <laughs> I hate when they use this stupid shield. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not disapproving. Everybody has their own thing that they're into. I just don't know how to properly respond to this conversation. <laughs> force him to date me. He just eventually confessed that he had feelings for me after a year. And after a year of watching me deal with a really bad boyfriend, too. I think he finally was like, you know what? I could treat her way better than that douchebag. These guys are fucking killing us this time. Oh, you know it. You get lonely down there, you eventually want to take anyone. <laughs> Even crazy old me. realize what happened before it was, when it was too late. I am stuck! No, no, no! Did I at least get my super out? Damn it, it was wasted. I mean, six and a half years since he started dating me, so I'm sure it's worn off. <laughs> I finally got a two street kill, and I'm gonna die. Don't let your enemy take this without a fight. Damn it. I'm suddenly craving pizza. Move, move, move! Damn. Oh, the guy whose outfit I liked got top of our team, and his clan tag is what our what my Call of Duty clan tag used to be. It used to be Meow. This guy, I like his outfit. And then... Give you Playmaker. And we'll give you... Level-headed. Yeah! I did awful. But I got commended still. Yay! Did I even get one? No, I'm not getting a single grenade kill for some reason. Excuse you, I was looking at that. 11 out of 25 done. Oh, and I ranked up again. 171, I'm close. No. It didn't sound like a wounded chain to puppy left. Ugh, that's so funny. 
Mm. Yeah. Six and a half years later, I'm sure his wounds healed from being a <laughs> chained up puppy, as you say. <laughs> Speaking of which, he should be getting off work soon. I don't think he feels that way. If he does, he doesn't show it or say it. I hope so. <laughs> mm, I hope that I'm a gamer too, so I'm not one of those girlfriends that are always like, why do you always play video games? Because I'm right here on the couch doing the same fucking thing. <laughs> He's got his couch and TV, I've got my couch and my TV, and we both sit in the living room and game. Although I'm sure he's jealous because my TV is way bigger than his. They're actually both my TV. He needs to get his own fucking TV. Incinerate each other with your light. Yeah. That's how we game. I eventually do want to help him get a new one, though, a bigger one. And then we can move the small one into the room that's supposed to eventually become our video game room for, like, our older consoles that we have. Well, that guy's gonna be annoying. Please tell me somebody has killed him already. Oh, someone got him and it wasn't me. Lost my super trying to kill him, but oh well. Yeah, both the TVs we have in the living room are technically both mine that I got. Well, the small one was the one I brought when we moved into our first place together. And then as a graduation pro uh, present when I got my bachelor's degree, my dad got me like a big ass TV. So now we each have a TV, we each have our own gaming consoles, our entertainment centers, we technically each have our own couches. So we have a long couch and a short one. And the short one fits me because I'm a lot smaller than he is. Um, so I lay out on the short couch, he lays out on the long couch and it just kind of works. And we just do our own things separately but together, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, we don't play together, but we play together. Because we're not, like, playing, like, we're not playing the same game at the same time. But we will both be playing video games at the same time. Although it is funny, he plays Xbox, and I jump back and forth between PlayStation and Switch. How I'm supposed to get those grenade kills? I haven't gotten a single one. Even though I keep hitting guys with my grenade. I guess because of the type of grenade that I'm using, maybe? Oh, there's somebody over here. Nope, they're dead.
His name is Sloppy Not Toppy. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Strong, and this battle is yours. Damn it. I shouldn't have walked in the fucking electric field. <laughs> My best run, though, is three streak. Do an Ash. What are you chasing after? Should I be concerned? Oh, you're playing with one of the cats outside on the glass window. Okay. Just don't break the gap. Don't break the glass, please. Very much appreciate it, my dude. That guy is really annoying. keeps like hovering outside the map so you can't like really throw your supers at him all you have to do is shoot him but he's using like really good precision hits so, like snipers and things like that Boop. Boop. ah <laughs> i just scared my cat <laughs> ash stop being a spaz you know i love you but you're weird Who needs children when you can have crackhead cats? Well, that sounds explosive in the distance. I killed somebody apparently. God, that guy's really annoying. All he does is just sit there. Fuck, I'm stuck on a wall. Please let my fucking super kill him. I'm hurting somebody with something. I wish my grenade did more damage. Should get me pinnacle gear. Maybe. Um, I'll do yours again. I really like your outfit. And then. Ooh, I did last that time. Gross. And I'm gonna guess that I still have not gotten a single grenade kill. Nope. Why am I not getting grenade kills? Whatever. I'm 15 out of 25. 10 more kills. Ooh, I need 20 more combination points, too. Getting there. Ooh, I'm about to rank up. That'll be another thing done. Look at me. I'm going to accomplish stuff tonight. Ooh, I have hiccups.
Ooh, this one's an interesting one to play Mayhem in. Hey, Unicorn. Oh, I'm not on the same team as that guy whose outfit I really like. Sadness. You know, eventually I'd like to get to the point to where when I'm streaming I can actually capture the chat log with my videos. Be nice. Oh, I really hope we're not playing with that one person again. I don't see their name on there, so they must have split everyone up. Oh no, because there's some people that are still here. Maybe they left. Cast your super in the middle of my super. Down. I'm not supercharged. And that person's already dead, so that didn't matter. Oh boy, I was shot from behind by the same guy that I killed. Why am I so hungry all of a sudden? I've been good today. And yet, I'm hungry. No! No, you just killed me! You just fucking killed me! God damn it, you just killed me! <laughs> and I spawned to death. I need this meal. Mmm. There's someone on my butt. Oh no, that's the guy whose costume I like. He's on the enemy team now. That's a shame. I like that guy. Ooh, he's messaging me on Facebook now. Why is it that my phone is dry as a Sahara Desert to the instant I'm streaming and then suddenly everyone's like, I want to talk to Angeli. I want to talk to her. I'll send her messages. Although they don't say Angeli. They call me by my actual name. Most people don't know that I stream. And my personal life. I don't have anything to hide, I just don't know a lot of people. Most people I know are co-workers, and I'd rather not introduce them to my foul mouth streaming channel. If I can help it. <laughs> and I am really good at dying. Not something you should be proud of, but apparently I am. a couple people with that one, I guess. And that one, too. Stop you if you fight hey, that said I got a grenade kill. 
I doubt it, though. No, it, it, that one finally counted. It finally counted a grenade kill. Holy shit, out of how many matches? I only got one of my three? Ow, I hurt. That missed. Wait, where did this go? No way. Fuck. Probably not. Maybe, who knows. I'm stuck on my own fucking ice shard that I made. <laughs> I'm running like an NPC at this point. Maybe I am an NPC. A real world NPC. Oh shit, there's a lot of y'all. Oh, that was probably a waste of my super. Oh no, it didn't waste it. Good. Hello? What the fuck was that? Aha! Gotcha, bitch. Ash! Chill the fuck out, dude. <laughs> I love it when I scare him. Um, I guess I'll call you the best dress, because I think I like your outfit. And then... I was bottom! Or second from the bottom. Ooh, I got best dressed again. You would like my outfit. What, my dude? Why are you yelling in there? What? Fucking little spaz of a cat. <sighs> Can you hear him? <laughs> he just fucking yells for no reason. You get six more kills. <laughs> Do not run into that glass, sir. Bubba. What? What is your damage, little dude? You're so grumpy tonight. Oh, and that other message with my coworker. <sighs> he's all disgruntled because uh, he started talking to a girl this weekend, and it's now been 24 hours since she's responded to him, and he's all sad. I can't blame the dude. You just gotta let shit happen, though. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ash. Quit it with the glass. Come here. Come here. Come here, my little goblin. My little demon, my little shit starter. Why are you hyper? Hmm? You call what a good time? <laughs> my cat slamming into the glass door? <laughs> The door weird. It's in flood zone. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if he's if she's ghosting him or if he's just not giving her enough time or space. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is yesterday. Was Memorial Day, so a lot of people are usually busy on holidays, you know. But I don't know. I'm not really good at giving relationship advice. There's Harry. He's probably leaving work now. Destroy them with your light. <gasps> Kinnigans! Yes, I locked my boyfriend in a basement until he became my boyfriend. You're right. Even though 
most houses in Florida don't have basements. <laughs> We're too below the sea level for that junk. <laughs> Ash, chill the fuck out, please. You spaztastic little feline. Why is my... <laughs> you don't have planning. Yeah, it's it's. I and there's a secret entrance to it too. You have to go behind a bookcase and shit. <laughs> Cops one of a friend. Ash! Fuck! This scared the shit out of me. He jumped on top of my couch where I'm sitting. Wink. No, he... my cat is just very strict on schedule, and usually on Tuesdays, Harry is off of work by 8.30 my time, and well, it's 8.42 now, and I only just heard from him that he's coming home. Um, oh shit. That and Tuesday's the only night that... Oh, Tuesdays and Sundays he works late, but usually he's home by like... He's either off or he's home by 6. But Ash just had us home for the last two days. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because he is a daddy's boy. 100%. Um, but he also just had us both home for the last two days. And then we're back at work today. So now his schedule's all like, you guys have been home. Now you're not home. I don't know. He's a weird cat. I love him, but he's weird. that and there's cats outside and I I can't tell if he doesn't like them or not but we can't have him play with them because they're not they don't have like their shots and stuff so and I don't want to risk him getting sick over some strays it's just not worth it he's our baby at the end of the day don't worry bye bye Dad's on his way, Bubba. So you can finally chill the fuck out. Ooh. Ooh. Did I hit anyone with that? I don't think I did. Damn, I died. I didn't even think I got a kill that time. Oh boy. That guy did not want to die. Three minutes remaining. We're playing against the clan. That's probably one of our problems. Oh, you're dead. Damn, my accuracy is garbage. Ah, shit! I wasn't expecting you to start shooting me! I didn't know where you came from. <laughs> oh, Ash, you got a new girlfriend. Is that what it is? We yeah. have. Shut up, I, I do try aiming. <laughs> I just have really garbage depth perception, so I, my accuracy is always garbage. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Plus, in mayhem, you don't really shoot. It's all about using your abilities. 
<laughs> OJ, you're such a goofball. One of the strays, OJ, is just jumping at the glass door. And that might be why my cat's freaking out a little. Who fucking knows? Um, you know, this time I'll pick the unicorn, because I like the little horn that they have on their head. And then I usually try to do the top two players after that. Boop. And... Ooh, I got my score up to 200. Time to get the fire extinguisher. Why? Nice. Got another thing done from my rank 7. So now I just gotta do these. I love the strays though. But we keep them separated. Either he stays inside and they're allowed on the porch, or after we've disinfected the porch, we let him on the porch and they stay outside the porch. <gasps> I need two more super kills, so I should be able to get this done in one more PvP match, which kind of works. Because I only have about 13 minutes left in my stream anyways. Haven't you met me yet? I'm a dysfunctional person. So a dysfunctional adoption, adoptive family is perfect. In fact, two of the babies have adopted me. Because um, back in like August, I think, we had like a really nasty hurricane and one of the strays were taken care of. She ended up having birth to five kittens. Well, then somebody snatched her up and got her fixed so the kittens couldn't feed from her. But thankfully, there was another stray we were taking care of who had kittens recently, so she still had milk. So she took care of the kittens. But then somebody came around and snatched up the mama again, as well as one of the babies, and left the other four babies. So I've been helping raise the four babies, basically. But they're sweet. And the two male of the four babies are infatuated with me, and I love them. There's one that looks like my actual cat, Ash. And heck, we call him Brucey, and he's so cute, and I love him so much. Because yeah, we have OJ, JJ, Brucey, and Weaves are the four babies. Then one of the adult cats is Furiosa. It's supposed to be a pun off the name Furiosa from Mad Max. One we call Boops. Sharon, which is kind of like the nurse mom, but she comes and goes. And then there's these two new cats that have been coming by. One that I call Lucifer, as a pun off the word fur in Lucifer. And the other one Harry calls uh, Marv. Because he's covered in scars, so it reminds him of a Sin City character. No, it is, because they're from a whole different breed, litter, all that. Because we got our cat from our old boss at GameStop um, four years ago. And our cat's fixed. He's been fixed for a long time. Ain't that right, Bubba? For a little spaz, it's surprising because you ain't got no balls. <laughs> great movie. I haven't watched it in a long time though. But I mean, half of our cats that we've taken over over time, like we had one that we called Hicks from Aliens. We had Ripley from Aliens. Weaves is actually um, a Sigourney Weaver is why we call her now, but we call her Weaves for short. Ash is Ash because he's gray, but also because of Ash Ketchum and Ashley Williams. Which is the character Bruce Campbell plays, which is a pun awful. Also on the other Greenway cat, what we call him Brucey. One because of Batman, two because of Jaws, and three because of Bruce Campbell. Um, Sharon is a joke name because of, um, at the time of her coming around, we were watching South Park again, and I just kept going, Sharon! Oh yeah, it's tons of puns and a lot of pop culture reference of shows and stuff that we love. We had one, the one that was the mama cat. Uh, we called her Karen because she had like a resting bitch face for a cat. And so we just, she'd be mean to like other cats and we'd be like, stop being a Karen. <laughs> like that was like the running joke with that one forever. And then Boops is just Boops because they, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, has like a spot on their nose and I just want to boop their face all the time so that was the running joke of the car to call them boops. I don't know if boops is a she or he. We can't figure it out. 
Sometimes she acts like a granny matriarch and sometimes it's a tough he, you know? I don't know. I can't tell from looking from behind like I can most cats. Yeah, the last cat that we had that was our actual cat, her name was Cake. As in Cake the Cat from um, Adventure Time. And then Harry had a cat named Zim, or we call him Z for short, but Zim, like Invader Zim. Yeah. All pets are nerd related and some. Well, not all, but most of the animals we've had. We named after nerd stuff. Even my brother did it. He had a um, bearded dragon named Yoshi. And two leopard geckos that he called um, Mario and Luigi. I hear the front door. Babs. missed it. We're talking mad shit about you. <laughs> Said you missed it. We're talking mad shit about you. And Joel went, Harry! <laughs> I think Joel's saying hi. <laughs> Apparently, I locked you in a basement as my way of convincing you to fall in love with me. Shut up! <laughs> Head. <laughs> he said, blink twice if you need me to send help. <laughs> How are you going to see his blinks, Joel? <laughs> what, what about tacos? What? Did you bring home tacos? Oh. Don't excite me like that again. Oh, getting tacos. I thought you said eating tacos. I was like, did you bring tacos home? I got really excited for a second. I was like, oh, he came home with Taco Bell. Now I feel like shit. No, no, that's not what I meant, but. I got so excited, I wasn't even knowing No, I'm just still weirdly hungry for some reason. I'm gonna munch on my cheese up after the stream. Shut up. I love you. Might as well never come back home now. <laughs> I can bring the tacos. Might as well never come home. Yeah. If you ain't got tacos, you can't come home. <laughs> oh. I thought you meant... Uh... <laughs> that you came home in your pajamas, and now you're switching to your jeans. <laughs> yes. I mean, they are on inventory night. I'm not even trying to, um, reset. I used to go to the reset for my pajamas. Were you a banana? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I'm a banana. And yes, Joel and Knugan, Harry was my boss. <clears throat> now he's my boyfriend. As of six and a half years ago. Roughly. Almost six and a half. Basically six and a half. It's six and a half, like, in the middle of June. We actually don't know when we started dating. That's just what we're saying. No, six and a half is based off of our first date. Ah, right. So you got promoted and you got promoted. No, he just got transferred and I got promoted. I took your transfer. But I, I wanted yeah. you to stay tight. Don't mention cities. They know I live in Florida. No, there's not. Play, what I'm trying to do. Okay. Anyways, the point he was trying to make was originally I got off of the transfer, but he took it because he technically lived closer to where the transfer was. And you hated that store with passion. I did hate that store with a passion. <laughs> you think we're coming to Florida? I've seen the news from here. Yeah, it's yeah, garbage yeah, here. Yeah, 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 stay away. You don't want any of this. We don't even want any of this. We don't want to be here, but we have family here that we don't want to leave. 
he's got his mom and I've got my dad and my mom and my three brothers and my grandma, well, two grandmas, two grandpas, a couple uncles. It's okay, we just uproot everyone in the car. Yeah? You really think dad wants to leave his uh, oh. new friend? <laughs> No, I know. He was sending me pictures of them at Disney again today. Oh, cool. They're gonna take you. I don't fucking know. I'm not a priority right now. <laughs> Mom's gonna take us before he does. Probably. Your mom wants us to go to either. I I still want to go to Epcot and go, do drinking around the world with you. Yeah. That'd be fucking fun. I would Florida's that kind of place I expect someone to marry an automatic rifle. You know, I'm not surprised it hasn't already happened. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't I would be surprised if it already happened. Is it Florida's the kind of place I'd expect somebody to marry an automatic rifle? It happened. It has? Yeah. Or are you just fucking with no, me? No, it's happened. Has it really? Did, did, did it make it to legal documents? No. But was it attempted? Yes. Probably not in the news yet. Right, I'm going to turn in all my crap and then that'll be it for tonight. Yeah, that was like a chunk of our conversation tonight was Joel just saying that I've trapped you in a base bin. That's how I've gotten you to... I like it. What? Why do you like that? I like it. Why? As for a good story. No! Yeah. No! I told him it wasn't too far from the truth, though. I'm the one who, like, harassed you and stuff to fall in love with me. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't falling in love with you and not attracted to you. It's just that my uh, business moral aspect was telling me no. <laughs> Who needs morality? Okay, we gotta take it as the, the little that we got. Nah, not in GameStop. There's no morality there. Not wrong. <laughs> Boop. I will never go back to that hellhole. I know. And eventually I'll drag you out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll catch up on it in a minute. Unless you want to blast your uh, dirty laundry all over the webs. I, I, I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. I've signed many contracts. Yeah, you've sent some. You've sent some what NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, or whatever they're called. Yeah, that's what happens when you move positions and you get hired. And from what I can see here, Harry ditches that morality on the side of the road like a couple of abandoned kitties. Oh, that's fucked up. God damn. <laughs> no, he had the moral high ground compared to the two of us. I'm the one who kept, like, Badger. and harassing. And I probably could have gotten fired if HR saw some of the stub I would text you. Wait, they, they could make an HR video about us called Sexual Harassment Panda. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Baba. Again, one is a kink, another is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was, if a girl locks a guy down in the basement, it's a kinky thing. But if a guy does it to a girl, it's a crime. Yep. <laughs> Shut up. Also, Ash was meowing so loud that Joel started joining in in the meowing session. He's just testing. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh, my God. Because our little special gremlin was yelling today. I like Harry more now. <laughs> well, that's good. Good. <laughs> I'm like a clown car. You never know what's coming out of it. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, that's How many clowns cool. can you fit inside of you, Harry? Uh, you know, I did not gauge the, uh, the, the weight of that moment. <laughs> Think before you speak. Oh, yeah, no. Uh... It makes me feel better than the first 40 minutes of my stream muted because I didn't know something bumped my headset at some point because it's the it's the click kind of mute not like a it's set back to default when I turn it on kind of thing what? no Joel was trying to talk to me and I was responding but he couldn't hear me because <laughs> I was muted <laughs> Oh, that's so, new. I always forget to unmute my mic and I start rambling and talking and then Jess goes, you're muted, Harrison. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I went 40 minutes doing that today. That's what happens when they get too popular. What does that mean? I 
Tansi, 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 that's been his new joke, is that I, I've i gotten too big for my channel or something like that, so now I ignore everybody. It all reminds me of Twin. That, that sass a little bit. Eh. Mm. Joel's got sass, but Joel's sass isn't painful. Is it painful? <laughs> Trent's sass was painful? Yes. One of our old co-workers. And he'll be like, good, I'm glad it hurt her. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he he absolutely would. He called me many mean things. No, but this... It's okay, he still makes fun of me for being an old man. Because you are an old man. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, but you're forever going to be older than me. You can't change anything about that. <laughs> You'll figure out how to fix that. Your sass would get you banned off Twitch. <laughs> Love it. Oop, just bonked my head. Bonk. I forgot to pick up stuff from Shax. Because I ranked up like five times with him. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that. I really don't need those, but I'll grab them anyways. There's gonna be guns that I can't use. Oh, weapon. I don't want. What's this one? Ooh. That's not nice. Not the best shader, but it's nice. Oh, you, oh, 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 come back. You had two missions. What are those? Yes, unfortunately. Wait. Yeah, did Harry still work at Game Pass? Yeah, he still does, unfortunately. I run two stores. Yeah, he runs two stores. I'd be right there with you if these rookies could just For shite pay. At least the pay, compared to what you should be getting for managing two stores. Oh, absolutely. So I'm never going to get that. I just need more legendary no, shards. Don't worry, we'll figure something out for you one day. For now, you survive. I don't know. I to survive long enough to go to Vegas one time. Yeah. I am jealous of one thing with you, What's with up? that. Is I never became a star manager, so I'll never get to experience conference. That was one thing I always wanted to do. I said, so Harry, how does it feel to scam yeah, people out of their... offered you the position. <laughs> So Harry, how does it feel to scam people out of their hard-earned, what did that say? Hard-earned games, crushing their hopes and dreams with offers of coupons and worse, and a worse rate than a shady mobster down the dock. Filled me with joy every day. <laughs> with all sarcasm behind that. Oh no, I know he offered me to become a star manager. I never wanted to be a star manager. Because no, I really it's, do, it's what I know, it's what I like, it's what I love, and... It's a hell job, though. Oh my god, it's a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm. Something I never wanted to do, which is why I turned Mike down every single time he asked to promote me. I, I, I imagine it keeps that manager down to the core. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Our trade values are absolute dog shit. They've gotten worse over the years, too. Like, I can't... And the pro membership is going from 15 to 25 next month, so good luck with that. Are you already talked about that yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was last of last week. Uh, by who, I guess? Kotaku? <laughs> Kotaku. They always know everything. Dude, Reddit knew about it before we got on the call. Well, yeah. That's not surprising. I know. I remember bringing in, like, 100 games to my GameStop once. I cry every time. <laughs> 
They used to be good. They used to have good deals and promotions for trade. Like, especially when Elite Pro was a thing. I miss that fucking membership. It lasted a year, and that's why it lasted a year, because we bought so much money out of it. Mm Mm-hmm. Or certain people would scam the system and Mm -hmm. keep selling and trading a game back and forth because it would bump up the trade value over and over again and get free trade credit out of it. Yep. On paper, the idea was brilliant. Mm Mm-hmm. In execution, (laughs) not so much. Yeah. But anyways, I have less than an hour before I need to be asleep, so I need to go take night night sleepy time uh, melatonin. Right. Though the GameStop stock was going to like 220 as fuck. It was, and I regretted selling my stock way before that happened, but whatever. I did make money off Dogecoin though for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I, back when I was doing stocks, what I used to do like years and years and years ago is I, any change I had left over from buying a stock, I would throw into Doge. And then eventually Doge was just suddenly worth something. Not a lot, but like more than... Because you could buy like... I remember when you were doing that. You could buy like 10 or 20 for like a couple pennies. It wasn't a lot. And then eventually they were actually worth like a little bit of money. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I sold mine. And I was like, there you go. What a profit. Well, no, it's it. I wasn't using it as an investment. I literally used it to throw my change into. I got an island. I want to sell you. <laughs> Do you happen to be a Nigerian prince? <laughs> and would you like my credit card numbers? It's A B C one two three. Michael Jackson. <laughs> a B C. See you, see you. One, two, three. I'm not Nigerian, though. <laughs> you didn't say you weren't a you prince, you though. Said you weren't a prince, though. <laughs> this whole time I secretly had a prince watching my streams. I'm enjoying this. This is great. Great back and forth. You miss bantering with my viewers, don't you? I do. I do. I like being the, the side bitch. <laughs> the side bitch? Yeah, I'm like, this, I'm like the side bitch for the stream. Because I'm running, like, you know, I'm, I'm running bitch next to you. I'm trying to provide content here. Oh, boy. Okay. I mean, if you think about it, for the stream, I'm kind of like the side bitch. Shut up. <laughs> See, now you got Kanugan's laughing. He's been, cry- he's been silent this whole time. I mean... From how he positioned his question, he didn't want me to lie, so I had to tell the truth. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Bravo, sir. Bravo. So, have you decided yet on if you're going to stream when the new Mortal Kombat comes out? Yeah, I am. I'm going I'm to get back to the basics. <coughs> and I am, in fact, not Nigerian. But you're still not denying if you're a prince or not. I will neither deny nor confirm. I plead the fifth. Uh, does that work in other countries? Nope. <laughs> Let's see, he's not from the States. I don't think he can plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Our system's all sorts crazy. Ah, uh, that's the understatement of the fucking year. I plead in tea and crumpets. <laughs> I plead in tea. Oh, <laughs> Again, bravo, sir. <laughs> but in all seriousness, guys, I gotta get going because I gotta start shutting my brain down for bedtime. Um, I think I will be streaming Saturday for Horizon Zero Dawn. I just gotta find out what my plans are with my brother first. If not, I will definitely be playing this again next Tuesday if nothing crazy happens. Bye, Joel. Bye, have Canadians. A good night, sweet prince. <laughs> what? I said, have a good night, sweet prince. There you go. Enjoy the taco. taco. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, nice rip. Thanks for reminding me that my boyfriend didn't bring home tacos. God damn it. <laughs> night, guys. <laughs> Bye.